So one of the common questions is uh, uh, asking is if somebody was to do a term paper or a research paper where they needed to upload it, how are they going to upload it? Now you'll observe that the, the, the generation of the questions for such kind of exams will have to be a little bit different. In this instance, you'll have to generate those questions and assignments. So what you do is click on assignment. And when you click on assignment, there's a page that will open. And on this page that you're calling assignment, you'll have to come here and say class assignment, which means you want to add a new assignment. And when you come to that new assignment, then this is where it's going to open this page. And you'll write this exam is, assuming it was code 002, that's the, uh, the code. And then you'll also, of course, give them instructions as usual. Your instructions now you'll write here, instructions. And uh, do any editing for it. And you'll tell them uh, uh, this is a term paper. Um, uh, research on research on topic. XXXYZ and on 12 upload your findings. You know. So anything you want, you can decide to put there. That's where you'll be writing the, the questions or the topic of interest and modifying it. And of course, giving the instructions to the students. And of course, after doing that, the next thing you're going to do is a white points here. So you'll decide how many marks they'll get for this. For example, if it is 40 points, you'll type there 40. If it is 30, you'll type there 30. Then the next thing you need to do is decide here. Are you going to give the marks back as a percentage or as points? Because being an, uh, something you're going to evaluate, probably it is best if you put as percentage because we still convert it into that. Then the next thing you want to make sure which is important is this section here that it is properly taken care of, is the submission here. So how do they want them, them to submit? It has to be an online submission. If it was uh, during the normal schedule, you may tell them to bring in as paper, but here you want an online submission. Now because you want them to upload a file, then this is what you're going to do. You're going to click here, that file upload. And if you want to restrict any kind of file, you may decide I only want PDFs here. And that's what you'll write here. Or if you want it to be a doc document, I mean a word document, you may specify here. But you can leave it open so that they upload whatever they, want, they have. <clears throat> and they'll be able to attach any of those along there. So the other part, remember, is this. Being a term paper, of course, it has to have restrictions, and this one's here you'll have to set and decide it's available from this time to this time. And when that time comes and passes, the system, of course, will close. So once you finish with that, you just save. So that is how you'll be setting anything that you're calling term paper, or if in your exam there's also a section you want something to be attached, then that part of the question has to be separated from the rest and be written as an attachment so you may also give them several and let them choose which one they want to do as several of them and they attach the file depending on which one they which topic they prefer so you can have several of these uh, uploading type of questions separate or you may type all of them here and tell them for this term paper and I want to edit here you can also type the question here and tell them uh -huh, that so choose between topic one to three and then you'll list all the topic and say here this is topic one and this is topic two this is topic this is topic three and your students will go research the choose of here which you've already presented to them in one and you can even list there and say well, it doesn't have number but to be topic one two like that
and the students will go and decide which one they do and after they decide they will upload the material there so you can put all your three questions in one area and let them go as one at a, I mean, as just one part of it and then remember to save so what is going to happen is that that item is going to be saved and if you needed to do any editing adjusting is simple come here on edit and you click on it you can always edit it will take you back to the uh, part where we started and you can edit it again and maybe you know do some adjustments you know you can all do this uh, on the editing part and once you're satisfied do not forget to save whatever it is so what is going to happen then the students are going to get that question now once you've set this as an assignment it's not going to be available to students until you add it to the module so to add it to module click module and if you wanted it to be part of this section a or any of these uh, paper called core 001 you put it there if you want it to be part of this what you do is just say click and when you click it will open up this page now remember it was an assignment so what you'll do see i had already created some so there are two let me just pick down that any one of them and after doing that the next thing i do is say add once that happens it is added here so there are two files i can just remove one if it's the same thing but let me confirm who it is because the one i've added has three questions so that is the, not the one i want so to remove it is a matter of just going here let me look at the, the, the other one here the earlier one again it's the same thing here so what i can do is uh, go back to the module and i can actually i can remove that and i can also remove this and put the correct one so if i wanted to see which one was the correct one i can go back here to the assignment and uh, look at how many there are this one is 40 the one want is it for 30 let me edit this one and call it a different name with a t that identify it okay so so having done that now i come to module again when i come to the module i say add a module and i come here under assignments i click T02, uh, call 002 and now this is it if i want to see it just click on it to confirm it's the right one and yes it's the one that we just created a few minutes so that is how you'll do for all this so now at that point that term paper or that uh, question that needs attachment will be here all of it available